do it. For today's teenagers, the image you promote online is just as crucial as how you appear in real life. And as these 14-year-olds explained to me, trying to give the right impression can put them under pressure. If you like take a selfie and nobody likes it, you just feel it puts you down. The people you hang around with, if they act like it, you kind of tend to join in. Some try and lose a lot of weight, build muscle to like fit into what society deems as the perfect body image. You see other people's posts, and you see that they've got more likes and people that comment. Even if someone wears a dress, there'll be one time like, oh, that dress isn't nice. And it's just not a nice comment. That's your opinion, but keep it to yourself. Now, teenagers invited by Parliament to advise MPs on this have produced a set of recommendations. More money for schools to tackle the issue, plus measures to make sure advertisers and social media giants consider the impact of the images they promote. It comes from everywhere around young people. It comes from parents, it comes from peers, it comes from school, it comes from their friends, it comes from everywhere. But the government needs to take a proactive approach on this topic. As women, we're in a position where we have to explain our bodies to people. Using the name The Slum Flower, Chidera writes an influential blog. Social media helps cause this problem, she agrees. But for her, the internet is an important part of the solution too. As much as it has a lot of you know, negative connotations, it's a very positive place as well because you know, we have freedom of speech. So we have loads of people like myself putting forward a message that simply says, no matter what you look like, no matter where you come from, you are valuable, you choose how much value you have, and that no matter how people view you, you are a valuable person. The same face every time. Teenagers have always fretted about their appearance, but social media can amplify those worries, and the well-being of this generation will depend on whether they're given the skills to cope with that pressure. Catherine Jones, 5 News.